guys, welcome to the first day of the vlog. It is September 1st on a Sunday and it feels so good to just have a fresh start. I am very glad that August is officially over. Woo! I just finished getting ready. We are about to head to Cinespia to watch When Harry Met Sally. I've actually never seen this movie, but apparently it is a classic. It is a rom-com, so it should be something very light and easy to watch. Ben and I love Cinespia because it's just a really great summer activity to do in LA. <laughs> We are very early, which is nice, right before all the hustle and bustle. Mm -hmm. If you haven't been here before, recommend it. Absolutely. It's such good vibes. It's a bit odd that you're in the cemetery, but it's beautiful. There's palm trees everywhere mm -hmm. and just good vibes, some drinks, good movie. It should be a good movie. <laughs> you haven't seen it before. I always get really excited about food and they just gave us some food right now. This is from John and Vinny's, which is an Italian spot in LA. And I've actually never been to the restaurant, but I hear about it everywhere, especially from Alexa. Alexa Lozzi loves John and Vinny's. She had a phase there. Inside, we've got a vegetarian salad. It is bread. I've got a cookie. Dijon mustard kind of vibe. Last night in this video was so much fun. Harry Met Sally aged really well. A lot of the commentary about men and women relationships still rings true today. I feel like a lot of movies from the past, they, you know, have a lot of problematic things that would not fly in the year 2019. But Harry Met Sally was pretty good. I thoroughly enjoyed myself. This afternoon, my parents came over. I haven't seen them since just like the whole teeth thing. I actually didn't tell them until after I went to the dentist and got everything fixed because they're the types just like worry so much so I wanted to make sure that I had fixed everything by the time I told them and so my mom was really happy to see that I'm doing well and I'm in positive spirits uh, we just had lunch at Koreatown Plaza that place is the bomb you can get just any type of food that you want also the reason why Ben and I are living in downtown is because this is just where we're temporarily staying uh, a couple days ago, they had to excavate everything out from the first and second floor. They moved everything, like all of our belongings. Tonight is our last night in downtown LA, and then we are moving to another house um, for six weeks. So yeah, we're just bouncing around. I need to repack my things and just get situated for the next month and a half. Right now, I am on my way to go to Emily's house. She is cooking me dinner, a Ryu Pure Recipes. And what would you call this? Ginger scallion ramen noodles. Ooh, I like it. It's always so good to see this one. I always feel so nourished after seeing her. Aww, I love see, you. Me too, I love you too. And we just uh, cracked open this bottle of white wine white. called Globorati. It's a lovely Savvy B. We're about to have Din Din. Happy Monday! Happy, Happy Monday. Labor Day! Happy Labor Day! Good morning, guys. Good morning. This was our home for the for the past week. It was good. It was nice living in downtown again. Yeah, it was bringing back some nice memories. Everything so close and convenient. Yeah. Oh, oh. Alright, here are all our belongings, you know, just traveling lights. Over here we've got all our bags. 
And yeah, this was the little apartment that we stayed in for a couple of, for a week actually. So as well, accident free nearly a week now. So yeah. Look at us. Very proud of us. Definitely gonna miss this skyline. All right guys, it's been several hours later. We packed all our things out of the downtown LA apartment and now we are here in another part of LA and moved into this gorgeous house. Not gonna lie, it's like way better than our house. This is where we're gonna be staying for the next six weeks and I'm so excited to just really, really settle down here and just get back on the ball. This is the bedroom where Ben and I are gonna be staying. I, uh, I like love these blinds even because look, they go like this and then when you move it, you close it. Ta -da. Ben has already unpacked all his things. This is the living room. We have cable TV, which is definitely a luxury. We, you know, we're definitely more of like a, a streaming device couple, but it's nice to be able to look at the news. Looks like the Dodgers hit seven home runs. Cool. Like, look at this living room. It's so airy. I feel like I'm in some sort of like Martha Stewart catalog. This is the huge kitchen. Um, I recently got an instant pot, so we brought that over. I'm gonna try and make some recipes, and who knows, maybe I'll try and do a video, because apparently you can make a lot of different recipes with this device. I even got the cookbook, 500. That's half of a thousand. We got a million Baraka tablets. These are basically like a vitamin C supplement, Lamion. A little mini tapatio. This is the kitchen area. And this bathroom is just stunning. Um, a couple of hours ago, the sunlight was just pouring in and it was just so dreamy and airy. This is a bedroom where I have been working. This is where Ben is going to be working. This is a little office. So yeah, this is gonna be where we'll be staying for six weeks, maybe even a little bit longer. We still don't know how long the construction is going to take. It's really hard to eyeball with them because things always get delayed. My insurance contact said that I should expect to be out of the house for three months, but that is like the worst case scenario. So September, October, November. So ugh, by Thanksgiving, we'll be back at our place. How do they do this? My dry lips are back. I think I've been kind of struggling with this for the past two months. My lips just get super incredibly, almost like painfully dry. I think I may be allergic to something and that's what flares it. I gotta figure it out because it's very uncomfortable. Today I had a really good start to the morning. I went to Barry's boot camp and today was arms, back, and a little bit of abs. And then right after I had Chinese food because it's like the only thing in our fridge and I love Chinese food. I have to get ready in a little bit because I am doing a photo shoot today with Sophie. I believe she's based in New York and she is so talented. I shot with her earlier in this year. I'll leave some photos that we took on the side. It's just like super dreamy and just out of this world and I love her eye. We're gonna make some cool art today and get some hangs in. I need to figure out what I'm gonna wear though. Hey, Chippo. Oh, she's so cute. You know, as she gets older and older, she just gets more and more independent. Like, you know, sometimes she's cuddling with us, but there are moments where she just like is gone and we don't know where the hell she is and then we end up going to another room and she's just chilling there. Is anyone else's dog like that? Because I know a lot of dogs are like super needy and always need to be around their owners, but Cheeky is independent, aren't you? Aren't you a little independent girl? Yesterday, I put away all my clothes and I would like to say I brought the bare minimum of clothing. I could use some more basics, but let's see what we can build. This is the mood board Sophie sent over. It's, you know, kind of like picnic-y vibes, kind of Lana Del Rey, summertime sadness. I want to style this giant obnoxious hat. I got it from a website called Yo Susie. I wanted to bring this to Italy originally, but I didn't want to be that person at the airport rocking this massive hat. And I didn't want to fold it either because it's very delicate. I love the fact that there's a little bit of a wiring on the edges so you can like flip it up in whatever shape you want. 
like you can like mold it and it just kind of stays like that I definitely want to wear an outfit with this hat so let's figure this out all right so this looks pretty cohesive like I like it I'm digging it okay so this is what I'm talking about I spent what five minutes showing you guys the looks and I can't find Cheeky anywhere. Let's see where she's hanging out. Cheeky. Oh, there she is, of course. Chilling in her own room. She's like, get out of here, mom. Got a little tail. How come you don't want to be with mommy? How come you like to come to this room all alone? Okay, I'm gonna set up shop here to do my makeup. I'm not really sure what eye makeup look I wanna do, but I'm definitely gonna be using the Jackie Ina Anastasia Beverly Hills collab palette. I've been loving to play around with this. I only brought two eyeshadow palettes with me. I brought this one and then of course, Pat McGrath. I don't know what Mothership palette this is, but it's basically the one with, you know, some greens, some blushes. So tomorrow I am actually getting my veneers. I'm a little bit nervous, even though I really shouldn't because I mean, the day I got my root canals and they shaved down my teeth, that was not fun. But these temporaries gotta go because with the temporaries, I can't like, bite into and tear anything so when I eat a sandwich I have to like cut it into little tiny pieces it's definitely made me slow down how fast I eat which I think is probably a good habit that I should continue to do but it's gonna be nice to just like like bite down on my teeth again oh that's gonna be the best feeling ever um, I only packed two foundations with me I have the Pat McGrath skin fetish sublime foundation and then I also have the Giorgio Armani luminous silk foundation I literally just got foundation on these like white ass sheets. Fuck. All right, so I just finished my makeup. Just wanted to go for something a little bit coppery and just very neutral that will go really well with outfits. I basically just put wigglies all over the lid and then I blended it with edges and ginger. And then I added a dash of Zam right on the center of the lid. And now we got to figure out the hair. If you guys didn't know, I love T3 products. I have personally bought two of the curling irons myself, but they were lovely enough to send me this body waver, and I believe this is a 1.75 inch curling barrel, which is the biggest barrel I've ever used on my hair, so we'll see how that looks. They also gifted me this barrel, which is the 1.5, and lastly, they got me the hair dryer. It's in Hollywood, but also has a big foot in it, but... <laughs> This is the body waver, and I really like this new feature on this heat tool. In my old curling iron, this wasn't here. This is a lot more easier to use. So you just twist the bottom, and then you can manage how hot you want it. So this is four, which I'm not gonna do. I'm gonna do a nice three. If Anna, if you're watching, just imagine that I curled my hair with a two. Trying very carefully not to burn myself. That's hot, okay. And I'm gonna do it all in one direction because I want it to be kind of like a nice romantic look. We'll see how it turns out. And right now I'm catching up on Ashley's second channel. She just did a review on Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, which is Quentin Tarantino's last film. Spoiler alert, she did not like it and it's making me not wanna watch it either. <laughs> The hair came out more of like a, a nice pretty blowout as opposed to like the fluffy curls that I wanted. I guess that's what happens when you just use a huge barrel, but I like it. Here's a better view if you want to look at it. All right, I'm trying on all the outfits now. This is the blissful dress. I need to tie it in the back, but I'm really trying to step out of the box and wear some more color. Hold up. This may be the dress that I wear this hat. Woo! This is cute, okay. This is a vibe for sure. This is another one of my looks. This is with the mid bloom midi. And I think I'm gonna wear this with a little clip over here. And by the way, this dress is amazing for girls with larger busts. As you can see, there's a lot of room here. I mean, I'm kind of struggling in this department, but luckily since it is uh, ruffled it kind of masks that and it just kind of cinches you in the waist because it's got like this bodice I like this dress in theory like I feel like it's almost there I feel like it just needs to be raised a little bit just ever so slightly 
but I love the detailing of this dress. Like we've got the sheer sleeves here. We've got these plastic polka dots that are adorning this dress. I think for this one, I just need to be laid out. Does this hat go with this look? It does. Okay, I'm really glad I tried this on because this top is so large for me. Like, wow. There's literally just a huge space where my boobs were supposed to grow in, but they didn't. If only the extra small was in stock, but it's definitely not gonna work. So I think that this is gonna be my next best option. I guess we're just shooting dresses today, which works out because it is freaking hot outside and getting in and out of pants is always such a struggle when I'm shooting. So it's gonna be nice that everything can just be like in out, in and out. I absolutely love this brocade. It's got this cute little ruffle. Um, I'm definitely gonna wear little nipple pasties over it. Would you guys kill me if I wore this hat for this dress as well? The shoe is gonna happen in like 40 minutes or so, so I'm just gonna gather my belongings and get ready to go. <music> Elysian Park. I am reunited with Sophie. Hi. Hi. Oh my god. It's so good to see you again. It's so nice to shoot with Jen. <laughs> Over there we've got Sam assisting. Hello. And of course we got my girl Iris. As always. Love you. Okay, so this is honestly the reality of the situation. The first location was a success. And now we're gonna attempt to go all the way on top of the hill because there is a really cool swing. And I feel like this dress would be perfect to sway in and out of. All right, it's time I bust out the hat. We're doing our last outfit, and this is gonna be the lovely picnic scene. I should have chopped the onion last because my eyes are literally watering. Uh, we are making spaghetti bolognese, vegetarian version, but in the Instant Pot. We are very excited about this and we've been very excited to try it out. We're like, what do we do? We're going to use the Beyond Burger meat, zucchini and everything. Yeah, I mean, it's just nice to add some extra veggies when we can. Mm-hmm. Cheeky. Zucchini? Oh, she loves zucchini. Zucchini? Okay. <laughs> um, the shoot went really well today with Sophie. We did four looks, smashed it out. I put it on saute. This is so weird. I'm being very impatient. And I don't know why I, I put you guys all the way in the corner. We <laughs> can't see anything that's going on. Hear that? Here we go. There we go. Now the saute is really going for it. Mm -hmm. We've got onion, celery, and Okay, so so far we've been using the instant pot just as a, a stove. <laughs> we haven't pressure cooked anything yet. No. The bizarre part. We're gonna add dry spaghetti in the pot. Wow, okay, give it, break it in half. <sighs> wow. <laughs> Showing off. <laughs> This is not looking good. You gotta get it under the sauce and then pressure cook. Uh, high pressure, that's it. So you put it down to eight minutes. Wow. Does that mean it's just doing it now? Maybe it is. I think it. Oh! oh. Here we go. Okay, that was mildly confusing. I guess it is done. I'm gonna do a little quick release. Okay. Alright, we are ready. All the steam has finished. And now Ben's gonna open it because he's brave. Ooh. 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 That actually looks alright. Oh, interesting. It looks like a minestrone. <laughs> huh. Interesting is always a polite way of saying 
doesn't look that good. We didn't use like a, a marinara sauce. We used yeah, just... Yeah, the candy's a bit more water. I didn't put as much as one and a half in. It's not too bad, actually. Not too bad? You always say give it a mix up and it kind of... Yeah. It tastes like minestrone soup. It doesn't taste like spaghetti bolognese at all. Do you know what I mean? Definitely better when we don't use a hot pot. I know. All right, this is the finished dish. Let's call it minestrone spaghetti. <laughs> if we were to put two big old things of tomato sauce, it's still nice. It's still really nice. Yeah. Hmm. It just treats it a bit different. Exactly. I opened up a package, again, from T3, and they sent me the exact same things that they already sent me, and I'm pretty sure it was a mistake, and uh, I thought this would be a really good opportunity for you guys to win something. I'm gonna do a giveaway. Wow. There will be two winners. One will receive this body waiver, the 1.75 inch barrel, and another winner will be receiving the Kuro Wave hair dryer. And this hair dryer is bomb. Both of these items are bomb. I'm gonna leave all the information on how you can enter the giveaway in the description box, so please pop that open. Off the top of the bat, it's gonna be to follow me on YouTube, follow me on Instagram, which is I'm Jen Im, and number three, also in the comment section, please write down your Instagram handle so that way I can like contact you if you win. And um, the last question will be, what title would you give this chapter in your life right now? For me, I would say getting down to the basics. Just talking about the essential things that I need in my life, things that I need more of and things that I need less of. So yeah, the giveaway will be international. There'll be two winners. Good luck. And I'm so happy that you made it to the end of the video or else you would have never known that you have the possibility to win these two amazing T3 items. Okay, sorry, I just like, I had like one glass of wine for dinner. Ben and I had date night right now. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! Mwah.